Hi everyone, it's Margaret here with Creative Stamping with Margaret. Today we're making this just gorgeous card using the Marius Moments bundle. This bundle is in the holiday catalog, the July through December. It's on page 43. We're using um, just, I'll be using a sentiment out of that stamp set, but if you ordered the class card kit, uh, as this is one of the cards from the monthly kit, uh, we're using uh, the It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year stamp, and that um, is from uh, another of the holiday bundles. Um, and I've just drawn a blank on the name of that. It's the Tidings and Trimmings. Yes, that came out of the Tidings and Trimmings stamp set, which is in the annual catalog. But um, the beauty of this stamp set is it includes the Marius Frames hybrid embossing folder, which uh, coordinates with the dies. And I'll talk about that uh, as we continue. Let me set that out of the way. So if you ordered the kit from me, you will have received your pre-cut, pre cut pre um, scored uh, pieces. Everything is is cut, ready for you. We'll go through the assembly steps, which is what I'm going to do in this video. Um, and then you'll have the embellishment pieces as well. So what we're going to be using, you will have a piece of basic white that has been cut, and all of the items that I'm using came from this die set, uh, the Marius Moments or Marius Frames die set. So it included that frame. So you will you will have one piece of basic white uh, that you will cut using the frame. You'll also have a piece of the designer series paper which has been cut and embossed. You'll also have a piece of the real red, which is the piece that your cut and embossed piece will align. Then in addition to that, you're gonna have another embossed piece and that include, that also has embossing, but as you'll see, this will line up. We're gonna cover that frame piece. I mean, this. You could pull this out if you decide to change and want to extend it if you ordered the kit from me. You want to use, may want to use this on a separate card and just put a piece of, of basic white behind, but I did like that the snowflakes um, came through. You'll also receive a strip of the designer series paper to add to your envelope. You have your basic white for the inside, and then we're using Mossy Meadow as our card base. Dimensions for all of the pieces of cardstock and designer series paper that are used will be posted on my blog, so you can link back to that uh, to get what, what size pieces were needed. So let's go ahead and just start with the basic assembly, and then I will talk about this piece and the frames and how that how that you will do that. So just fold, use your bone folder, and let's fold our mossy meadow card base in half and burnish that fold line, that score line. And take your adhesive and add it to the back of your basic white. Did I just run out of adhesive? Lo and behold, I did. Let me see if I have another. Let me step to the side a moment. This one feels like it has a lot in it, so that should work, and it does. And you do want to use a strong adhesive because of all of the embossing that's on here. This is, uh, 
pretty um, heavy, heavily embossed. Oops, I see. I this is a very tight uh, piece because I cut it so that it, you just had a very narrow border. As you see there, we have a very narrow border. Then for this, let me pull these dies out so I can talk, talk about those. I'm not going to demonstrate cutting these, but I'm gonna give you some tips if you have this set and wish to use it. So what, what you will do is just, you know, this is a straight standard piece that you'll cut just like any, any of your regular dies if you wish to use that base piece. Let me grab the merriest frame. So here we have our embossing folder and that it is just gorgeous. I mean, it has beautiful embossing. This die does align. Let me find the direction that it goes. It will align with the embossing folder. I just have to get it. There it is. See? And it locks into place. And then you you, so that you would be able to cut and emboss at the same time. However, I found what I would do, then you would place that in, flip this over, and cut and emboss. Some, I know some people have done that, but I found it easier. First, I cut my DSP using the frame. Then I took the cut piece and I aligned it and I placed it on the face down on the part that goes in. On this side of your embossing folder, it's raised. This side, the other side, which is the side that has the line at the bottom, it's indented. So then you will just take and line your piece up with that. I thought that was easier to do than trying to cut and emboss at the same time. So then you just place that in and it, it goes in, fits in there perfectly. And then you just flip it, run it through your cut and emboss machine set up for your, uh, you'll need to use it set for using your uh, embossing folders, and then it comes out just beautifully embossed. And that's exactly, so that's what was done with this piece. I put a, a large piece of the basic white in here, closed it, ran it through the machine, and it gave me just that gorgeous piece. So that's how that's, that uh, is how I recommend doing it. So I recommend that you use your die to cut your designer series paper first, place it inside the embossing folder, and run, and then uh, do the embossing. That seemed to work, I thought, was the best method versus trying to do the cut and an emboss at the same time. Um, I was able to do it, but I just did not like the appearance um, appearance of that. So, so let's go ahead and start the assembly. So we have our basic red piece. So we'll Let's just turn that cut and emboss piece and there, that's how that will layer on top. And for the adhesive, I only added adhesive in this middle. I wanted these to be freer um, so that it just adds a little bit of extra dimension to that card. There we have that. And 
Now we layer it onto our card. And the same, you're going to want to use a strong adhesive. Now on this, I did go more uh, up closer to the edge of those design cut just because I wanted it to lay flat. I think I turned it upside down. I did. There we go. We'll just play with that and get it placed on there. And then I did take, of course this will get flattened in an envelope, so I don't know why I'm lifting it, but it does look nice lifted. So then let's apply the sentiment and on the sample for the class, as I said, we used the sentiment from the tidings and trimming. For this sample, I am using the stamps uh, out of the merriest moments. I'm using a joyful Christmas for you, and that is stamped using the mossy meadow. Sure, I have this lined up. Close this ink. I have inky fingers today. I've been stamping a lot, so if you see ink on my fingers, that's why. And then to embellish around the sentiment I pre-cut using the red paper. This is the it's flocking, but I can't at this time have drawn a blank on what they call the specific name for that paper, but I use the poinsettia as the small flowers that were dyes in the frames, Marius frame set to add to, um, I cut one of each size that we'll add to our card. That just adds a little extra on the front. There's no right or wrong way to do these. We'll just make our little triangle shape which is always a uh, pleasing to the eyes and we're using just basic rhinestone jewels in the center of the for our flower center that adds just that little extra pizzazz to the card And then from the Simply Elegant Trim Kit, I decided to use, uh, tie a double layer bow. So you'll just take and double. I actually have a little bit too much cut here. Let me shorten it just a little. I can save some of that for another bow. could even triple it if you wanted, but I think a double bow is sufficient. So we just tie our bow. Pull those ends to get our loops a little that tight. And I'm going to Is 
use a glue dot to attach that will hold it in place plus it helps hold the knot so it doesn't slip trim those just a touch more then to add this to the panel i am putting it on dimensionals i did leave it i did use uh small dimensionals on that but um, I couldn't tell at first it looked like it was flat, but I did use the dimensionals. Pull all of these little backing off to the side. Go back and place them in the trash afterwards. Oops, I have that upside down. I'm glad I noticed that. Then we'll add this. This fits perfectly inside that panel. So there we have the front of our card done. So for the inside, I just stamped my sentiment and added that. And there again, I have stamped that using the garden green. And I'm using a different sentiment that came from a different stamp set, but I really like this holiday sentiment that may this be a Christmas to remember and cherish. And we'll adhere this to the interior of our card. And if you wanted, you could add some designer series paper. You could add a little strip to the inside or stamp the poinsettias that are inside of the stamp set to add a little extra touch, which I think I will do that. So if you have that stamp set or if you have another stamp set with some poinsettias, um, I'm not sure if these are poinsettias or not, but they're a, a little bit larger stamp, so we'll just add a couple of those to mirror. We'll just put, stamp that on with real red. Let me... way it sort of coordinates with the front of the card. Let me just stamp that to test that. Yes, that looks good. I'm going to put it also down at the corner. Only I'm going to as such. And then there are these little centers that we will stamp inside. Since there's a big gap there for the and I'm going to grab this stamp here. Let me just see what this looks like here. Yes, I'm going to add these in the center because I think that looks funny just having it there. There we go. And I'm keeping it all in real red. You could stamp those that center piece in a different color if you wish. But I... Um, Decided to keep it the monochromatic as such. So then your last step, if you ordered the kit, would be to adhere the panel, then trim that. But that is our Merriest Moments card. And hope you've enjoyed uh, the assembly and uh, some of the tips that I've given you for assembling this card. Have a great day.